Okay. Good morning to everyone. Uh, distinguished uh, Dr. Juan Wiglau, President of CCG, uh, dear Mabel Miao, Secretary General, uh, dear Mrs. Sun Ametkan, uh, dear ambassadors, friends, uh, and all the audience, both online and present with us today in this public lecture, South Shanghai. Uh, first of all, before I start some of my speech, I want to once again give thanks to CCG, Center for China and Globalization. Uh, when uh, I came in 2019, March 2019, one or two months later, I visited CCG, uh, a former a colleague uh, introduced me and he told me I should come and, and meet them. And this has been a very good experience. Uh, uh, I have already attended, I know, six, seven, eight events with CCG. In many of them, I've been invited to participate in panels, in discussions, and uh, I know this is a leading think tank in China, and this is important for the people in our countries that are watching this event. This is one of the, the leading uh, uh, think tank in China, focusing on globalization, and they are, we know globalization is a for, force for good, which of course has to be managed, has to be channeled, but it's still a force for good. So that's something very important that uh, CCU works on that, promotes globalization. And this is what, what uh, Pacific Alliance is, is a group which really is focusing towards opening and being globalized to the world. So thanks again, uh, Henry, I, I'm, I would say in a, in a friendly term, we are good friends, so, and Mabel, thanks a lot for inviting us today. Uh, so thanks for putting, for putting this uh, together, this event. So we have this uh, magnificent, magnificent opportunity. It is a great pleasure to be with you today to introduce with my colleagues, the ambassador from Mexico, Peru, and Chile, one of the most successful and innovative regional integration processes in Latin America and the Caribbean, the Pacific Alliance. I am speaking today as the first because we have a rotating presidency. So now this year, in 2021, it is Colombia. And then uh, from January 1st, it will, it will be Mexico the, the, for the next one. So uh, from next year, for 2022, you will see Ambassador Seade chairing us and inviting us to different events. Uh, this regional integration mechanism was established in April 2021 and formally constituted in, on June 6, 20, 20, 20, 2011, sorry, and uh, constituted in, in June 6, 2012 with the signing of our framework agreement. And since then, the Pacific Alliance oversees a deep integration process, which is innovative, flexible, and strongly projected to the world with clear and pragmatic goals that we will discuss ahead. We call ourselves a deep integration for prosperity. Accordingly, our main objectives are to build an area of deep integration to progressively advance towards the free movement of goods, services, capital, and people. All the same, at the same time, we are eager to promote better and inclusive growth, development, and competitiveness of the economies of its member states to achieve greater well-being for its citizens. We look forward to become a platform for economic, commercial integration and projection to the world through our four economies with particular emphasis on the Asia-Pacific as one of the most important regions worldwide. Just one, one, um, one tip about this, we were just talking before, and uh, regarding the four countries, nowadays, uh, China is a very important partner for four countries. In the case of Mexico and Colombia, uh, China is our second largest partner. In the case of uh, Peru and Chile, it's the first trading partner. And this in, in one in the U.S. is the second for them, the first for us. So it's a, we are very integrated to the world, and of course the two largest economies are either our first or our second partners. Um, additionally, the Pacific Alliance Agenda seeks to surpass the commercial sphere to strengthen joint and coordinated actions between the promotion agencies and cooperation entities aimed at strengthening competitiveness and innovation. For example, for example, of our small and medium enterprises. In this same direction nowadays, climate change is one of the most significant challenges for the world. Therefore, the Pacific Alliance wants to develop and promote research on this area, thus facilitating environmental development. Moreover, in terms of education, we are strengthening technical, professional, 
and technological education, scholarships, as well as encouraging academic and student exchanges. In a context of challenging, as, as challenging as the COVID-19 pandemic, the Pacific Alliance managed to create a joint work plan to reduce the impact on the citizens and economies of the four countries. For example, we launched joint promotion activities that will impact around 2,500 companies to support economic recovery and promote e-commerce, trading services, foreign direct investment, and sustainable tourism. 2021 is an important year for us, has been an important year. It is as it marks our 10th anniversary, and I am honored that Colombia assumed the pro tempore presidency this year. After one decade, we are proud to highlight that the Pacific Alliance has 59 observer states worldwide, with six candidates for associated state and cooperation relations with regional blocs from different continents. For instance, China played an important role, has played an important role as, a, as an observer. Recently, as uh, Dr. Juan said, uh, the, during the official event for the 10th anniversary, State Councilor and Minister of Foreign Affairs Wang Yi sent us a congratulatory, congratulatory video, and in this sense, on behalf of the Alliance, we want to express our willingness to strengthen our cooperation with China as a strategic partner and create joint strategies to foster economic growth and sustainable de development. You are all welcome to learn more about us. Our doors are always open. Thank you very much.